Scripture states that our lives here on earth are just a vapor. That's here and then gone in a little time. A passing thought, that busy schedule, the routine of life. Another day here and gone. Today, yesterday, are now past and we can never take back. Day gone. One day closer. That great day when all men will stand. Stand before the judge. The great judge who will judge all the earth. To whom every man will give account. That fearful day appointed unto all the children of men. Will in no wise avoid. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it. From whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was no place found for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which was the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things, which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead, which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead, which were in them. And they were judged, every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Scripture declares that it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. On that day when time is no more, and men stand before the one whom mountains melt like wax in his presence. Time, time is all but parted, passed away with this present world. There is no plea for mercy, it is fixed, and men will be without excuse. If only people would take a moment and think, think about the end of your days when you must give an account. The scriptures declare the greatness of the judge before whom men will stand. The king, the Alpha and Omega, the Ancient of Days, the Eternal God, the Almighty, Holy and the Righteous One, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Creator of Heaven and Earth, Sovereign Lawgiver, He whom is to be feared. This is the one before whom men will stand on that great day and stand naked without a covering for their sins. On that great day when this present age is no more. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was no place for them. I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which was the book of life. And the dead were judged out of these things, which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And so whoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. On that last day, the Lord will make an end of all that is evil. 
all that rebels against his authority and that will not surrender to his will. The Lord will once and for all put an end to the devil and his works, and nothing unholy will enter his kingdom to defile it. The redeemed who are bought and paid for, purified and washed in the blood of the Lamb, are fit for the kingdom. All else must depart to make way for the Lord's new heaven and earth, where the former things are past and will re be remembered no more. Those whom trampled under their feet the Son of the Most High, those who counted his name as an unclean thing, those who deemed his word as inappropriate, those who counted his sacrifice as common, those who think that they can appease the God of righteousness with mere trifles, in treating the king as a sideline, will melt with fear at his presence. The Lord said of that day that many would come and declare to him of their works that they held in high regard that were done in his name. And the Lord will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. Many say they know Jesus. Better to ask, does Jesus know you? The Lord has prepared the way and paid in full the sins of all who will inherit eternal life. But many, even most, will die in their sins. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? To those who take refuge in him and believed his word, to those who will stand in his righteousness, who trust not in themselves, but Christ alone. His very elect have already passed from death unto life, but we are warned even to examine ourselves and prove all things. Does he know you?